Hello again, geometry friends. Mrs. Saunders here. We're continuing our study on similar figures. Last time we talked about similar polygons, which could have any number of sides. Today we're going to talk about similar triangles. And once again, pause the video if you need to, or rewind if you need to. Now, if you remember our study of congruent triangles, we had four shortcuts to prove the triangles were congruent. Well, we have something similar with similar triangles. There are three ways to show that triangles are similar. First, we have the angle-angle similarity. So we know that two triangles are similar if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle. That, that's it, just, just two pairs of congruent triangles. We also have the side-side-side similarity. So that's when the measures of the corresponding side lengths of the two triangles are proportional. Now, when we were talking about congruent triangles, all the sides, the corresponding sides had to be equal. Now, they just have to be proportional. And then we can also talk about the side angle side similarity. This one's a bit of a mouthful, but that's when the measures of two side lengths of one triangle are proportional to the measures of two corresponding side lengths of another triangle, and then the included angles are congruent. Whoa. Okay. So we've got two sets of corresponding sides that are proportional, and the angle between them is congruent. Okay, let's look at some examples. This says determine whether the triangles are similar. So first, we're going to check to see if pairs of sides are proportional. We don't have any angles, so we're just checking sides here. We're going to find the matching sides. So 6, right, that matches up with 9. So that's AC partnering with DF, 6 over 9. Um, that reduces to 2 over 3. Okay, so that's one set. Now we're going to do this next one. So 10 partners with 15. So AB over DE, so let's compare those. That's 10 over 15, and if we re reduce that, we get... Okay, two over three again. Um, last pair, we've got eight partnering with 12. So CB partners with FE. Those lengths are eight and 12. And if we reduce that fraction, we get two over three again. So because each of those fractions reduced to the same two over three, we're good to go. We have similar triangles. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by the side, side, side similarity. Next one. Now we're looking at two more triangles. We've got some sides, we've got an angle. Okay, let's first check to see if the pairs of sides are proportional, just like we did before. So we're gonna find the matching sides, three partners with four, so we've got MN over QR, that's three over four. And then the other set of sides we have is six and eight. So NP partnering with RS, if we reduce that, we get three over four again. So those are all the sides we know. We've got two sets of proportional sides. Now let's look at the angle included or the angle between them. All right, so angle N and angle R, they're congruent. They're both 70 degrees. So we do indeed have similar triangles. We've got triangle NMP is similar to triangle RQS because of the side angle side similarity. A lot like congruent triangles, but actually a little bit easier. So this one says identify the similar triangles and then find each measure. Okay, let's, there's a lot going on here. Um, let's start with this. Do you see the arrows on the two lines in those triangles? That means that those are parallel lines. And if we have parallel lines, we can also identify, look at this, two sets of corresponding angles. And if you've got two parallel lines cut by a transversal, you know that corresponding angles are congruent. All right, that's good. Now, what triangles are we looking at here? We've got the big one, okay? And now we also have this little one over to the right. So those are the two triangles we're looking at. We know they're similar, by the angle-angle similarity, because we found those, those two pairs of uh, congruent angles. Now we need to find each measure, right? Well, let's start by, let's, let's fill in this information, KL. How big is KL? 
Well, the whole side of this, the bottom side is 24. This part, JK is 8. So I know that KL is 16. Now I can start coming up with some comparisons, okay? So I've got this 16 here. That's the bottom of the little triangle. And that's going to partner with 24, the bottom of the big triangle. Then I've got 6x plus 2. That's this ML, that's the side of the small triangle, with 7x plus 7. Where did that come from, 7x plus 7? Well, look at this. The big, the top side of this big triangle is this x plus 5 portion and the 6x plus 2 portion. Okay, so I've got to add those two together to get the 7x plus 7. All right, now, before we go forward, let's take that 16 and 24 and reduce it because that makes an easier problem. So 16 over 24 reduces to 2 over 3. And then we still have 6 plus 2 over 7x plus 7. And we can cross multiply. So we've got 2 times the whole quantity, 7x plus 7, equals 3 times the quantity, 6x plus 2. All right, let's go up here to keep working. Distribute those through. You get 14x plus 14 equals 18x plus 6. Simplify that down a bit. We've get, we get 8 equals 4x, and so x equals 2. Now, it didn't want us to find x, did it? It wanted us to find each measure. So we need to know the side lengths of each of those triangles. Well, we know that x plus 5, that's, that's nm, sort of at the top left there, that's 7. And then we know that ml, ml, the, this side here, is 6 times 2 plus 2. So just plug in the x we know, that's 14. So together, the big side, the big side of that triangle is 7 plus 14, which is 21. Okay, we're done with that one. Just a couple more. Identify the similar triangles, then find, <laughs> that should be find, then find each measure. All right, again, look, at we've got these um, arrows, which means we've got parallel lines. And anytime you see parallel lines, you want to be looking for those special angle relationships, like corresponding angles, or in this case, alternate interior angles. So we've got a pair of alternate interior angles there and right there. So we have two pairs of congruent angles, which means we've got similar triangles. We've got the green one on the left here, purple one on the right. So we've got triangle MLN is similar to triangle QPN. And off we go. We've got an angle-angle similarity, and we can start solving things. So 12, 12 partners with 18, and x minus 1 partners with x plus 3. Cross multiply. If you want to reduce that fraction 12 over 18 first, you can. I didn't happen to this time. 12x plus 36 equals 18x minus 18. Let's simplify this. 54 equals 6x, and x equals 9. Are we done? Hmm. We need to find each measure, don't we? Okay, so LM, we've got x plus 3. That's 9 plus 3. That equals 12. And then the other one, 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. Now we're done. Okay, one more. A person six feet tall casts a 1.5 foot long shadow at the same time that a flagpole casts a seven foot long shadow. How tall is the flagpole? It's always helpful to draw a picture. Now, a fun fact for you is that the sun's rays actually form similar triangles. So we know these triangles are similar. So if we use X for the height of the flagpole, then we can set up a proportion. Cross multiply, 1.5x equals 42, divide both sides by 1.5, and we get x equals 28. So we know the flagpole is 28 feet tall. So there you are, similar triangles. Thanks for being here.